Hello guys, welcome to the 11th session of the API.ai tutorials for beginner. In this session, we will create the webhook using the ASP.NET Web API and deploy it on a Google Cloud. For this example, I will use the Google Cloud tool for the Visual Studio instead of the command line. You can download it from the extension. If you don't found it, the link will be available in the description. Note that the extension is only available for the Visual Studio 2015 and the year 2070. If you are using the older version, then you must need to use the command line. Let's switch to the Visual Studio and click on the create a new project. Under the AC subsection, select the uh, select the ASP.NET Web Application .NET Framework and write a name for the uh, project. I am using the uh, .NET Fulfillment and uh, press on OK. I am going to create a new controller. For that, right click on the controller folder, add controller of the type web API to empty with the name fulfillment within that create a new action public i http action result post which will return the action result and take the request data from the body here we need to create a model class that will represent the JSON data that come in the request and also for the response. For this right click on the model, add a new class, API, API. I am already created the model class so I am just going to paste those class here. Those class are designed as per the uh, our JSON data. I am already attaching the uh, file. If you are required and don't want to create those again, you can use it. Open the uh, controller. Here we need to import the uh, modern namespace. So write the using dot net fulfillment dot models and save the all of the file and here we will receive the uh, data from the body therefore we need to write the uh, from body attribute and uh, oh, we will receive the uh, api ei request request within that we will retrieve the uh, number one from the uh, request dot result dot parameters of num1 here we need to convert to the integer therefore we need to write the uh, convert dot to int 32 and same operation will be performed for the uh, number 2 and store the sum of both number into the uh, new variable num1 plus num2 and uh, generate the uh, speech of type string sum of num1 and num2 is sum after this we need to create the uh, response of the uh, type API AI response uh, response equal to new API dot AI response within that we need to set the uh, speech equal to the uh, speech and display text equal to speech and return 
okay status and pass the uh, uh, response here is a spare mistake so rename it and let's run the our project copy the url and and paste it here within the uh, api we need to call the uh, fulfillment and send the uh, request here we got the uh, same output this time we are retrieved from the uh, asp.net so we can now deploy it on the uh, cloud for this we need to open the uh, visual studio stop the uh, project and open the uh, google cloud explorer from the uh, tools click on the uh, so you need to sign in here to the uh, google account so click here and add the account and choose the account that you want to use and allow the uh, permission here is the account that was uh, added into the uh, google cloud tool we need to create a new cloud project for this for that open the uh, cloud.google.com go to console and click on the uh, plus sign to create a new project and write a name that you want to use i'm going to use the uh, asp fulfillment after this we need to make it billable here my project was already billable then open the uh, visual studio click on the uh, refresh icon and select the uh, project that you are created and right click on the uh, computer engine select the uh, new asp.net instance which will open a new tab in a browser Here we need to click on the uh, launch on the uh, computer engine. And uh, specify the uh, some details about the uh, server that you want to use. I am remaining it uh, default and click on the uh, create button. here our uh, environment is uh, developed and now it is updating the uh, software here our software are updated uh, let open the uh, visual studio refresh the uh, cloud explorer expand the uh, cloud engines here it will contain the asp.net instance that we are created right click on it select manage website credential click on the uh, add credential here we will create a new user with the uh, name admin reset its password copy the uh, password and store it may it require in the uh, future open solution explorer right click on the uh, project and select the uh, publish to the uh, google cloud click on the uh, cloud engine here our asp.net instance and the uh, user's name will be automatically came if you have the uh, multiple then select the appropriate from those drop down and click on the uh, publish button 
you can see that it is now deploying once the deploying is complete it will automatically open the our website in the browser here is the our site that deployed let open the uh, api slash fulfillment copy the uh, path and paste it in the uh, postman and click on the uh, send button here you can see that we got the uh, response let's add it in the uh, fulfillment open the uh, fulfillment page and paste the url remove the uh, http s click on the seo button and let's send the uh, sum of 10 and 30 here we got the sum of 10 and 30 is a 40 let's try with the another values sum of 50 and 50 we got the 100 let's see what we are learning in this session first of all we are created a new action for the post method and retrieve the data from the body perform the addition on it and generate the string that will be displayed on the ever boot and create an instance of api response and return it with the ok status here are the models that we are created and use in this example to deploy the app i am use the google cloud tool for the visual studio instead of the command line first of all download and install the cloud tool then open the cloud explorer sign in with the google account create a new cloud project and create a new asp.net instance for that project and create a new user for this asp.net instance and from the solution explorer select the project and right click on it and select publish to the google cloud thanks for watching have a nice day if you have any doubt feel free to contact me